Hi, I'm Brennan Williams, Energy Product Manager at Sequent. I'm going to explain two new energy focus features in Leapfrog Geothermal. Firstly, the support for well trajectories in Petrel deviation file format. And secondly, the ability to create a reservoir simulation model and export it in Eclipse or CMG format. Leapfrog Geothermal now supports the import of well trajectories in Petrel deviation file format. The deviation file is a text file that provides a desurveyed well trajectory. In this simple example, we have a well trajectory for a vertical well. The header of the file defines the name and the top location of the well. This is followed by XYZ measured depth and TVD data columns where the data are space separated. In this more complex example for a deviated well, you can see there are additional rows to define the deviation in the trajectory. Each well has its own deviation file. Multiple deviation files can be selected on import. In the import deviation data dialog, you can check that you've got the required columns, which are well ID, depth, XYZ, and TVD. Once the import is complete and the surveyed trajectory has been reverse engineered from the desurveyed file, you can drag and drop the well trajectories into the scene. You can see in this example, we have a number of injectors and producers. All of these wells are actually vertical, but deviated well trajectories are supported, including horizontal trajectories. In addition to the trajectories, you can then go on to import uh, geological interval data, point data and petrophysical well log data in LAS format. And then you can use this data in your standard LeapFrog workflow to create a geological model. Thank you for watching and please download the latest release of LeapFrog Geothermal to explore this new feature in more detail. LeapFrog Geothermal now supports the creation of a reservoir simulation model. The model can be exported in Eclipse or in CMG format. The workflow enables you to create and edit a pillar-based corner point geometry grid for the reservoir simulation model. The grid geometry is constructed such that it encompasses the extent of a parent geological model. That parent geological model has previously been built from well data and other data, including faults and surface interpretations and geophysical data. This example shows a simple geological model built from the well data to which we then add a fault. The resolution of the grid for the simulation model can be set by the user and the gridding can be aligned with the primary faults in the geological model. This is our initial simulation model where we have set a grid size of 160 by 160. It encompasses the extents of the geological model and it honors the fault. However, the gridding is not yet aligned with the fault. In this example, we have now aligned the gridding with the fault. The layering can be set by geological unit and proportional and truncated layering is available. So the corner point grid geometry is a pillar based one. And as we can see in this example, by aligning the gridding with the fault, we now have straight line but non-vertical pillars in that part of the model. In this example we see that we have applied different layering to the geological units. Proportional and truncated layering are also supported. While the grid geometry of the reservoir model is based on the geological model and its features, 
the numeric property values on the grid blocks, such as porosity and permeability, are evaluated from numeric models. Numeric models are created using LeapFrog's implicit modeling engine, which fits mathematical functions to the petrophysical well log data. So for example, here we see the permeability well logs down the wells. And from this data, we construct a numeric model of the permeability. We can then evaluate this numeric model onto the grid geometry and then use that to export out to our simulation data set. Equally, we can do the same thing with other numeric property data, such as porosity. So here is a view of the porosity model. And again, we evaluate that porosity model onto the simulation model. As the simulation model is created and edited and evaluated onto, we can see the hierarchical nature of the model in the flow models fo folder in the project tree. Numerous options are available for visualizing and editing the model and links to the parent geological model, faults and numeric models are also available. So here we see the link to the parent geological model. Here we see the link to the fault in the geological model that is used to align the gridding. And here we see the links to the numeric models that are used for the evaluation of permeability, porosity, initial water saturation, etc. onto the simulation grid. The simulation model can now be exported in either Eclipse or CMG format. Firstly, you select which simulator you wish to export to, either Eclipse or one of IMEX, GEM and STARS, which are the available CMG options. You can also optionally do a meter to feet or feet to meter conversion and also set the start date. Next, you select the numeric properties that you wish to export. So these are the numeric models that have been evaluated onto the simulation grid. Here we're selecting porosity. We're using PermX for both the I and J permeabilities, and we're using the PermZ evaluation for the K permeability. We can add other numeric properties that we've also modeled and evaluated. Then export out to the desired location. What this will create are a number of files, a .dat for the CMG format or a .data for the Eclipse format is created. And within this file, there are simulator specific keywords that define the dimension of the grid, the start date, and then include other files. These other include files. This first one is the GRDECL file. So that is the pillar based corner point grid definition. The second file the null.inc file has the active block data. So there are a number of blocks around the outside of this model that you can see, or that you can't see actually, because those cells are inactive. The other include files, such as the permeability file, have the permeability data. Uh, so the permeability file has permx, permy, and permz. And we also have a porosity include file, which has the porosity values. Just coming back to the grid file, this has got the dimensions of the grid and the spec grid keyword, and that's followed by coordinate data, which defines the top XYZ of a pillar, followed by the bottom XYZ of a pillar. And then further down in the file are the Z corn data, which are the Z coordinate depths down those pillars for the vertices of each of the hexahedral cells that are in the corner point grid definition. 
So this completes this brief demo of the new support for reservoir simulation models. Uh, please feel free to download the latest version of Leapfrog Geothermal and try this new capability out for yourself. Thank you.